Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Shai. And give the blood and see the apostles of great mills to not do real well. Salutation to the men of the hopeful and sense elect. This is a brother Marcus out here in Trinidad. I just want to do the edification for the lexic. And the name of this lesson would be Stay Stuck in Your Ways. Stay Stuck in Your Ways. You know, you know, the saying in the world when people say, you know, you're just stuck in your ways. Well, guess what? Just speaking to the men of Great Millstone. Stay stuck in your ways. All right? Because we're doing it for righteousness sake. All right? The, um, you know, let me look for this. Um, I believe. This now. All right. Um, yeah, it says Acts 24 and verse 13. It says, Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. It says, But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I, the God of my fathers, believing all the things which are written in the law and in the prophets, all right so yeah they go they will say that you know we we are you know unreasonable men they will call us false prophets they will call us devils they will say all sorts of things so this is what paul said he says but this i confess unto thee that after the way which they call heresy so worship i the god of my fathers all right so yeah we ain't gonna stop first peter 4 and i believe it's verse 4 it says where it all they you know they speak evil of you because we run not with them with the same excess of riot all right because we ain't running with their way their philosophy their doctrine they will speak evil of us all right but guess what it don't matter how much they they come against you how much they speak evil hey one of my favorite scriptures i like to bring out is revelation 2 and 10. it says what be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Now, for you to be faithful unto death, mean you have to be stuck in your ways. You have to be stuck in your ways. If you're not stuck in your ways, if you're not stuck in this doctrine, if you're not stuck in your belief in this doctrine, all right? If you're not stuck in your belief in this doctrine, guess what? You're going to give it up. And you're going to give it up with little resistance. Little resistance. Because when they come, when, he, when, when guess what, in the hour of Jacob's trouble, during martial law, when they come and they torturing you and trying to get you to deny the name, Yahaba, Shemia, or Shah, the doctrine, guess what? If you're not stuck in your ways, as the scripture says, be rooted and grounded, you are going to deny the Lord, Yahaba, Shemia, or Shai. So you have to be stuck in your ways. You have to be fully persuaded. All right? You have to be fully persuaded. Fully persuaded persuaded that this is the truth you can't have doubts you can't be doubting if this is the truth if your how is his name if your how is his name if only israel could be saved if the rfid is the motb you can if esau is is um the so-called white man guess what at the end at the end of the day if you if you have those doubts guess what you are going to deny the Lord. You are not steadfast. All right. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. It says what? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, unmovable. As the scripture says, none of these things moved me. Unmovable, always abounding, always growing in the work of your Haba Hashem Yashai because you had to grow. That is another way you're going to be steadfast. You're growing. All right? I don't know how much of you ever go on the beach and, you know, playing in the sand you're, and you're, 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 you're twirling your body, you're twisting your, your, your feet left and right. And the more you twist your feet left and right, is you know, your, 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 your feet will go more down in the sand. All right? So it's like that. It's the same thing like a tree. A tree it grows down it says it sends its roots down you have to send your root down the more you grow the more you're gonna send your roots down 
the further you're gonna be more mo unmovable and just like a tree you're gonna receive nutrients all right so you have to be unmovable it says always abounding in the work of your harbor shai for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord cast not away the confidence which you have in the lord for it have great recompense of reward don't cast it away if you have to die die take your death manfully we signed up for that there was no fine print when you came into this truth there was no fine print there was not no a whole bevy of of papers that you had to read through let's say you had to you had to sign a whole encyclopedia of co of, of clauses and regulations when you come into this truth when you come when you when you came to this truth you know that you have to serve your haba shimia or shai and at some point your life would be required Matter of fact, guess what? From the day you entered, your life was required because your life had to change to serve your Haba Hashem Shai. You had to put the Lord on the front burner and everything else on the back. But physically, your life would be required. Guess what? The scripture says, for we are appointed unto death. We are appointed unto death. So with that, your mind... So I, I, was, I was reading up on, um, on the assassins, right? On the history of the assassins and it was this guy hassan hassan something he was was a so-called arab i believe and he was the one that founded the original assassins or ha hashish hashashin hashashin i believe how you originally said it i believe it it came from um shashin some something like that where they believed that the name came from um, weed because they believed that he gave the men in his group, you know, um, weed to the smoke to inhale so that they would get, you know, high and then go out and do their, their acts. All right. But one of the thing is, is that what, what, what they said is that when an assassin or a hashashin goes out and does his act, his mindset is that when he goes, he also has to die. All right. So it's when he go and he accomplish, you know, he also, I believe, had to kill himself. All right. And that is their mindset. Is like, hey, oh, we we already we already gonna die. We already gonna die. So it have nothing, nothing that gonna hinder us from carrying out our task. And that is the same mindset that we gotta have. Hey, guess what? We already signed up for that. So it have nothing. That is why Paul said, none of these things move me. We already signed up for that. When you read in From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor, and it says that when Muhammad came and gave the Jews the ultimatum, the Quran or the sword, it says many of the Jews were accustomed to martyrdom and they said, hey, to hell with you and that Quran. And they took the debt, just like the woman and her seven sons in Maccabees. You had to take that debt. We signed up for that. We had to be unmovable. All right, we had to be unmovable. All right, so when I typed in on Google, it says what is um what is another word for set in your ways? All right, and as you could see here, there are a list of words, but I'm not gonna go through all. I'm just gonna go through some. Right, so let's start with resolute. And when you look up resolute. It means what? Firm and unyielding in one's determination. And our determination, just like the Lord's determination is to gather the nations, our determination is to prophesy, to preach this gospel, and also to enter into the chariots and, and evidently in the kingdom. All right? It says, having absolute certainty about something, we are absolutely sure. That Yahweh is his name and Yahweh is his son's name. We are absolutely sure. Alright? Absolutely sure. This is the book of John chapter 6 and verse 66. It says, From that time many of his disciples went back from went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh unto the twelve, Will he also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou has the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art that anointed 
the son of the living God. So you have to be resolute. You have to be resolute. You have to be, you know, having absolute certainty about something. Steady or balanced. All right? Not easy to please or satisfy. Now, guess what? Let's see. You, 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 they, they, they come up to you with, with, with money and they say, you know, hey, deny the Lord and we give you this money. You say, what money? You take that Judas purse and you deny the Lord. Guess what? You're going to die because you cast away your confidence. You cast away your crown. You can't do that. You understand? You're going to hold on to your crown. All right? Hold on to your crown. All right? Um, let's look at Relentless. Relentless. It says, unceasingly intense in nature. Unceasingly intense. All right, means you have to be a firm believer. You have to, you have to, as first scripture I read, always abounding. You have to always grow in this truth. All right, it says exhibiting determination in the pursuit of a goal or objective. Exhibiting determination in the pursuit of a goal or objective. It says harsh or inflexible. And we ain't gonna change because we stuck in our ways. You can't get us to ease up on this doctrine or preach um, smooth words because you don't want to hear that two thirds of our people are gonna die, that the so called white man going into slavery, majority of his people are gonna be destroyed, and all the other heathens, there is no salvation for them. They're going into slavery. If you don't want to hear that, guess what? Too bad. All right? We're not flexible. We are not flexible. We're not going to preach smooth words or soft words for you. All right? We, we as Paul said, our hands are going to be free from all men's blood. So we, we, we relentless over here. We relentless over here. All right? Um, where's another one? Where's another one? Um... Boom, 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 boom. Let's, let's check tenacious. Stubborn or persistent in nature. All right? Tending to keep a firm hold of something. It says, having an adhesive quality or property. All right? So it says what's stubborn or persistent in nature. We have to be like that. Just like we were stubborn for wickedness, we have to be stubborn for righteousness and more. All right? Tending to keep a firm hold on something. Keep a firm hold on this truth. A firm hold. A firm hold on this truth. All right? Don't give up. Don't give up. All right? Don't give up. All right. Um, let's see what single minded says. It says single minded. It says concentrating on only one aim. What is the one aim? The kingdom. That is it. Just doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Especially with determination. That is why the scripture says yeah, I have to be single. All right. Have to be single. All right. Um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Where is another one? Um. Where is our next one? Let's see our next good one to check out. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's see unwavering. Unwavering, it says, always steady on a on course. Now, guess what? We have a fire on one side and a deep water on the next side. So, we have no choice but to be steady or we're going to fall off. It says, exact in correspondence or adherence to something it says having absolute certainty about something we have absolute certainty that all the things that the scripture said all the things that the scripture said they're gonna come to mind 
we have we believe and are sure everything that the scriptures say can come to mind all right let's see what setting stone says it says permanent and never changing we set in our ways we set in stone permanent and never changing it says firmly fixed a surface you're right the scriptures talk about the foundation of your house standing sure it says we firmly fixed it our foundation we firmly fixed a surface so as to be immobilized we we can't go we can't go anywhere we can't go anywhere all right let's check on um continuing continue it says persistent forever or have an extended period of time it says continuing or advancing always abounding in the works of the lord especially without a break or interruption no hiatus all right it says happening generally time after time um happen regularly my bad happen regularly time after time means that we always out there doing the works doing the videos all right always out there doing the works and doing the videos all right more down here um <laughs> let's see what deathless says it says undying or immortal that is what we're gonna receive we're gonna receive that crown once we stay firm made famous hey we're gonna we're gonna receive that also righteousness is immortal and we lord gonna give us a crown paul said that we receive a crown you know the lord have stored up for us exhibiting timeless quality it's like we have that that quality always all right inextinguishable unable to be extinguished or quenched in the scripture says quench not the spirit not able to be appeased or satisfied or we read that earlier on um immutable the scriptures talk about the immutability of his counsel let's see what immutable says here all right come on shut on. don't 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 do more that right now Don't do me that right now. All right, immutable it says unable to be changed without exception. It says persisting for an extended period of time, consisting of all of matter to all. It says being such by habit long established and not likely to change don't change the scripture said there's who's there's no varying you understand it says here unshakable you don't shake don't 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 be moved all right let's see fix as the laws of the medes and the persians let's see what that says says what Oh, basically the same thing. All right. Um, let's look up one more. Let's look up one more.
and see what iron willed said. See what iron willed said. It says determined or passionate in one's belief. Interests or endeavors determined or passionate so you also have to be passionate about this determined or passion you have to be passionate psalms 40 and 8 i delight to do thy will you have to be passionate about it you have to love doing this you have to love preaching you have to love it you remember how shy gave his life for us to it says enthusiastic you have to love it you have to love this all right, you have to love this. It's the only how we gonna, you know, escape the pollution of this life. That is the only way we gonna escape the, you know, the pollution of this life. All right, let's look up this word here. Recalcitrant says what? unwilling to comply or submit especially to rules or authority guess what in the ancient time that's how we were we 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 never used to comply with the lord's laws now we doing that so what we doing now we being unwilling to comply or submit especially to esau's rules or authorities then peter say we ought to obey the most high rather than men it says unwilling or reluctant to do something for fear of consequences. We fear that if we don't push this word, woe is me if I preach not this gospel. Woe is me if I preach not this gospel. It says unwilling or reluctant to do something for fear of consequences. Hey, if we don't preach this word, the Lord Yahabah Hashem Yahashai going to destroy us. So that is why we're doing it. That is why we're doing it. Sanctify the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahashai, Isaiah 8 and 13. Sanctify the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahashai, of host himself. And let him be your fear. And let him be your dread. Alright, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 10. It says what? It says, be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. It says what? Be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. So your words can't change. Stay steadfast. All right? Don't be one way on camera and then, you know, a, a total nigger off the camera. All right? Your, your ways have to be sincere. You have to be sincere in action and in heart. Because the Lord is the man who trying your heart. So you could, you could, you could put on an act in front of men. But guess what? You is the one you are the please is the Lord Yahaba Shemiao Shai. So you have to be that way sincere with Yahaba Shemiao Shai. Alright. This is First Corinthians chapter um, 16 and verse 13. It says, Watch ye, stand fast in the feet. Quit you like men, be strong. Quit you like men. Be strong. Let's see what I said. This is um First Corinthians chapter 16 and 13. Alright. It says, quit you like men, be strong. Alright, be steadfast, quit you like men. It says to make a man of or make brave. Make oneself a man or be brave. So you have to be brave. You have to be brave. Guess what? Being strong-headed and, and stuck in your ways means that you have to be brave. Means that, you know, you fear the Lord's consequences. But remember, by following the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahashai, there is also the consequence of not obeying Esau. You could be locked up. And for the most part, you could be put to death. So then you, guess what? You have to, you have to be brave with that aspect. It's like, hey... If I don't serve the Lord, I'm going to die. And if I don't serve Esau, I'm going to die. So which one should I do? Hey, so if you have a shimmy or shy, because when you die, you're going to receive a crown of life. When you serve Esau and you die, you're going to receive shit. All right? Remember that. You ain't going to receive nothing. All right? 
the final precept here this is romans chapter 8 and verse 38 it says um so that was 36 it says as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long for we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us i can do all things through your house shy that strengthen me all right we are more than conquerors so don't fear esau it says for i am persuaded that neither debt we don't stuck in our ways we know we persuaded that neither debt nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Nothing. Let nothing turn you from this truth. Stay stuck in your ways. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi and Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole flan, Saint Selek. This is Marcus Saint Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam.